and it's really pouring cats and dogs outside. Thanks for clicking on this video. In case you don't know, this is the second video of my photo walk here in rainy Copenhagen with the Sony A6000 and the 85 1.8mm for full frame, making this equivalent to 127mm on this uh, APC camera. So if you haven't watched the first video, you can go do that after this one. So I've set a goal to reach 1000 subs before 2023. So please help me by share, like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Also, if you don't like to listen to me talking too much, there's a longer section from the middle of the video where we go more or less uh, ASMR. Hi guys, if you like uh, the way that my photos turn out in this video, then I have a new preset pack available for you to, to go buy if you would like to. It costs uh, only 20 bucks and uh, you get uh, 15 different kinds of uh, presets that you can use. Uh, among my most used ones that you see in this uh, video here. If you do consider this, then thank you a lot, and if you don't, then it's okay. So the last video ended right before I reached the full part of the city center. So you are in a treat for now, because these are going to be some really great photos of uh, Copenhagen. Because the center part of Copenhagen is well known for its colorful little houses and cobblestone roads. Here I'm really just trying to find some interesting subjects to use for my shots. Like this one, I waited around a bit for a person to walk by. I tend to use foreground elements quite a lot just to add some depth to the photo and help lead the viewer towards my subject. So because I'm using a really long focal length and I am being in an area where the streets are quite small, I sometimes have to use photo stacking to get useful vertical photos. If you'd like to know more about this method, you can watch one of my videos about this topic just after this one. I really like puddle shots, but this lens was just too long for this but at least I got a really wet camera strap. If you listen now, the sound here is from the City Hall Bill Tower. And if you ask me, this is the definition of Copenhagen. So when doing street photos, you should always try to shoot in different angles just to make the perspective a bit different. Like here, I'm going down low to use the lines of the street as leading lines, but also to frame the person in the golden rule area of the frame. Did you know that persons on building surfaces sometimes is a mimic of an important person who helped build the building? If you ever visit Copenhagen, you should definitely go check out the city square because there are a lot of faces on this building and they all represent people building the city hall. And one of the faces have a tear on her cheek. And this is because there was one person who died building the city hall and she's showing some kind of respect for this person. Again, a foreground object and leading lines on the sidewalk to frame the photo. And here I take three similar photos, but all framed differently, with or without foreground elements. Which do you prefer? These guys here are really staring me down. <laughs> Take a good look at the dog because you will see him soon and it is going to be NSFW. So we're coming up to Maestrade, probably the most Instagrammable street in Denmark. 
Just around 100 years ago or so, this street was actually a street for prostitutes. So like every sixth person living here on the street was a prostitute. When you visit this street, it is quite hard to imagine because it is really beautiful and hygge-ly. And it really makes up some great photos. And I don't know how much um, an apartment costs here, but I bet it's uh, quite a lot. Sorry for this one, guys. I just could not resist. In a setting like this, it is just tough luck that the white van is parked down here on, at the end of the street. Unfortunately, my action cam is running out of power now, but there are still a lot of sick pictures left, and I hope you will stay to, to see them. I will show them as a slideshow from now on, and I know it's not the same as showing a photo walk video, but if you change the playback speed to like 1.5 or 2 times speed, I think it uh, makes it bearable. Also, I did go back to the area another day, and I shot some B-roll to uh, to put in between some of the photos just to, to show you where I am. But in case you decide to skip this part, remember to share, like and subscribe to help me reach my goal of 1000 followers by the end of this year. Thank you.
So, if you decided to stay to the end, thank you very much. That is really nice of you. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was not a complete photo walk. And I hope you liked the photos. Please make sure to, to write me if you have any questions about anything or just to have a chat. I always think that's uh, really nice to meet new people here. And of course, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. And for now, there's nothing more left to say than goodbye and I will see you around in another video.